Okay, example two. Moving in the opposite directions, two vehicles, a bus and a car, are 20 kilometers apart initially. The bus is traveling at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour due east, as illustrated at, at uh, by this diagram over here. Okay, and the car is traveling at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour due west. Okay, in the opposite direction, and therefore the velocity will be negative 60 kilometers per hour because it is traveling in the opposite direction. Okay, so find the velocity of the bus relative to the car. As per what we have discussed in the previous examples, okay, when we are talking about the velocity of the bus relative to the car, this is how we write. Okay, the um, the notation for velocity of the bus relative to the car, which means that you are the car looking at the bus. Okay, so the formula goes a little like this: velocity of the bus relative to the car is equal to the velocity of the bus minus away the velocity of the car. Okay? So the velocity of the bus is 40 kilometers per hour while the car is negative 60 kilometers per hour. Now all of us should know that when you minus the negative number it becomes a plus. Okay? So that's how we get um <coughs> excuse me, 40 plus 60 which will give us 100 kilometers per hour. Okay. Now, of course, this is not to say that either of um, the vehicles are traveling at the speed of 100 kilometers per hour. It simply means that if you are in the car C, you're in the car, and uh, you are moving towards the bus, and the bus is mov moving towards you, so you will be seeing the bus traveling towards you at a speed, at a relative speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, so let's go on to the next part of the question. Find the velocity of the car relative to the bus. Okay, which simply means find the velocity of the bus, uh, sorry, the car relative to the bus. Okay, so it's CB. Alright, will be velocity of C minus the velocity of B. Okay, which in this case will become negative 60 minus 40. Of course, that will give us the answer of negative 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, again, what does this negative 100 kilometers per hour mean? All right, of course, it doesn't mean that either of the vehicles are traveling at the speed of 100. It simply means that if you are in the bus, okay, moving forward, and you see this car moving towards you, okay, now you will be seeing the car moving towards you at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, now it is negative because according to the bus, the car is moving in the negative direction. Okay, so in the positive direction, alright, and therefore the other direction this way will be negative. Okay, sorry, the arrow looks a little ugly there. Let me try to get it up properly. Okay, so here we go. Alright, in the opposite direction, it will be in negative. Okay, so this is what precisely what the bus will see, the car moving. Alright, now find the time taken for the car, sorry, for the bus and the car to pass each other. Alright, since we're in, we were in primary school, uh, we know that to find time, okay, it will be equal to the distance divided by the speed. Now, this formula still works. Okay, the only difference is that now you have two moving objects moving towards each other. Okay, so when that kind of thing happens, it is the relative speed that will be more important. So to find the time whereby they will meet, you simply take the distance when they are apart, 20 kilometers, okay, divide by the relative speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, now why take the relative speed and not why not take the speed of the car or, or the bus? Okay, well, it simply means, uh, simply is because you must understand that the 20 kilometers is not uh, stationary. Okay, or what I mean not stationary. This 20 kilometers is not um, static, meaning to say it's not just simply that the car is moving the 20 kilometers uh, distance. Okay, the car is moving the 20 kilometers distance at the same time the bus is also moving at uh, uh, the 20 kilometers distance. So the combined speed okay, will determine the time that they will meet. Okay, this is not the individual speed of the bus or the car. So in this case, from the uh, calculator, we get 0 0.2 hours. Okay, so which translated to become 12 minutes. Okay, so they will meet in 12 minutes.